Hey everyone, just wanted to go through an example of estimating instantaneous rates of change. So let's do the following example. Find the instantaneous rate of change of f of x equals negative 2x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 1 at the point x equals 1. So we're going to separate this question into about two steps. Uh, the first step is going to be determine the y values at x equals 1 and a very close point. So we'll talk about the very close point thing in a second, but let's just find the y value at x equals 1, and that just involves finding f of 1. So f of 1 is going to be uh, negative 2 times 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 1. All right, so cleaning that up a bit, we get negative 2 plus 1 minus 3 plus 1, which gives us a value of negative 3. So f of 1 equals negative 3. So now we want to find the y value at a very close point. So when I say very close point, I mean a point that has an x value which is very, very close to x equals 1. And so I told you guys in class that to get that, you could just take the x equals 1 and add 0 0.001 to it. So that means that we're going to be looking for f of 1.001. Right? So that is a point that has a very, very slightly different x value than the one we had before. So let's sub that value in, and we get negative 2 times 1.001 to the power of 4, plus 1.001 to the power of 2, minus 3 uh, times 1.001, plus 1. All right, so cleaning this up a bit, we get negative 2.008012, plus 1.002001, minus 3.003, .003 plus 1. And putting these together, we get negative 3.009011. Okay, so I want to bring your attention to the fact that this value that we just calculated is very, very close to the y value that, sorry, the y value that we found when we, we calculated f of 1. And the reason why it's a very, very close y value is because the x value that we chose is very, very close to the x value we chose, you know, when we calculated f of 1, right? 1 is very close to 1.001, .001, so the y values are going to be very close. Now, these are technically two distinct points because I do have different x values and different y values. However, since they are so close together, they are going to be a very good estimate for the tangent line if we take the, secant, or the slope of the secant line between these two points. So we'll get to those, that in a second, but I want to just direct your attention to the fact that I have two distinct points, one at 1, negative 3, and the other at 1.001, negative 3.009011. Okay, on to step two. So step two is going to be to do the following. Find the slope of the secant between the points as an estimate of the slope of the tangent at x equals one. All right, and I'm just uh, writing out the two points that we found out before. So again, the idea is that these points are so close that it's almost like finding the slope of the tangent at x equals one, even though right, we're using two distinct points to do it. So again, we have these two distinct points. We're going to calculate the slope of the secant between them, and it's going to be very similar to the slope of the tangent. So let's calculate the, the, uh, the slope of the secant between them. Uh, we know our average rate of change formula, um, and it's going to be the same thing here, right? It's just that we know that we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be calculating the instantaneous rate of change. So we have instantaneous rate of change is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so we're going to sub our values in, and we get negative 3.009011 minus negative 3 over 1.001 minus 1. Okay, cleaning up the top and the bottom, we get negative 0.009011 over 0 0.001. And I want to draw your attention to the fact that, that that number on the bottom, our denominator, 0 0.001, is the difference between the x values that we, that we had before. Remember how I said add 0 0.001 to the initial x value. Right? Uh, that's, that should always be like that. Right? It's either going to be 0 0.001 or negative 0 0.001 right, in the denominator here. So dividing these out, we get negative 9.001 as our final answer. So because this is an estimate for the instantaneous rate of change and we get negative 9.001, it's probably safe to say that the exact value of the instantaneous rate of change would be negative 9. Okay? So as a final statement, we're going to say this. Uh, the instantaneous rate of change of f of x equals negative 2x uh, to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 1 at x equals 1 is approximately negative 9. Hope that's useful to you guys. Take care.